live from WHDH-TV Boston. This is 7 News at 11 on the news station. Coming up next on 7 News Reports. It cost you millions to fund it, but is bilingual education making the grade? Too many kids are failing under the current system. Seven's Andy Hiller shows you why this controversial program could become history. That's just minutes away on 7 News Reports. Changes at the State House are setting the stage for the 2002 governor's race. In tonight's 7 News Reports, Andy Hiller says another ballot ballot is taking shape. Is it time to say bye-bye to bilingual education? 40,000 bilingual students in Massachusetts may be at the epicenter of a political earthquake. It should be changed. It should be changed, absolutely. Says the state education commissioner, with a budget of $217 million a year, each bilingual student costs Massachusetts taxpayers $2,000 more than a student in a regular class. Bilingual students are supposed to be taught in both English and their native language. But a high percentage of bilingual teachers aren't proficient in English. So many bilingual classes are in foreign languages only. Bilinguals report card. MCAS scores are lower in every subject in every grade. And bilingual students are less likely to graduate. Bilingual kids have the highest failure rates. If there's a problem, it's because there isn't a commitment. Argues Boston's director of bilingual education. She says what these kids need are more resources, like teachers with more training, which means more money. What is not working is perhaps the fact that we do not have an endless supply of funds so that we can attend to the needs of all of our newcomers. In my opinion, it is unequivocally time to say bye-bye to bilingual education. It just does not work. So Senator Glotus wants Beacon Hill to cut back the current three-year bilingual program and replace it with one-year English immersion classes. I ask if it can work in California, why can't it work here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? Once they learned enough English, in 1998, Silicon Valley businessman Ron Unz convinced California voters to gut bilingual education. Despite predictions, grades would plummet. But in recent tests, scores for former bilingual students went up, some by more than 50 percent. Last year, Arizona voters busted bilingual after Unz crusaded there. Now, Glotus will bring Unz here if Beacon Hill doesn't dismantle bilingual. And I would be asking him and encouraging him to take a role in a Massachusetts referendum if this was to go to the ballot in the year 2002. Unz says he's looking forward to it. Well, I mean, Massachusetts is a major remaining center of these failed programs. So the bilingual battle lines are drawn. Well, I hope it doesn't come to a referendum. I hope we can fix this legislatively. I think politicians are very intimidated because we're dealing with a minority issue. I think the people in Massachusetts would overwhelmingly vote to have children taught English in school. Would I vote for it? Absolutely not. Am I going to be marching somewhere so that we make sure that it does not pass? You can count on it. Massachusetts voters have already shown they will act when Beacon Hill won't. A big tax cut was the last example. Bilingual education could be the next. I'm Andy Hiller, 7 News.